Welcome to the Dermatology Lecture Series. The initial lesions of a disease are called primary lesions. These lesions are often modified by scratch marks, ulcers, and other events called the secondary changes. Macule is a circumscribed, flat lesion of skin, which is visible because of a change in skin color and not felt as there is no change in skin texture. Macules may be well-defined or ill-defined, and may be of any size. Macule more than 0.5 cm is referred to as patch. A macule may be hyperpigmented, hypopigmented or erythematous. Hyperpigmented macules may be brown if melanin is present in the epidermis for example cafe au lait macule or slate gray or violaceous if melanin is present in the dermis for example Mongolian spot and lichen planus pigmentosus. If the lesion is less pigmented than the surrounding skin it is called as hypopigmented example leprosy and if the lesion is completely devoid of pigment it is labeled as depigmented example vertiligo and piebaldism. Erythematous lesion may be due to either vascular dilatation or extraversation of RBCs called purpura. Dioscopy is used to differentiate between vascular dilatation and purpura. When firm pressure is applied using a glass slide, if the redness blanches, it is due to vascular dilatation and if it does not it is due to extraversation of RBCs. Papules are small solid elevated lesion less than or equal to 0.5 cm in diameter. It can be due to hyperplasia of cells of epidermis or dermis, metabolic deposits in dermis or cellular infiltrate in dermis. Papules may be sessile or pedunculated, may be dome-shaped flat-topped filiform acuminate or umbilicated may have rough smooth or verrucous surface. Papules may evolve into vesicles and pustules may be surmounted by scales as in papular squamous disorders. Nodules are solid lesions more than 0.5 cm in diameter have a depper component and some nodules are better felt than seen. Nodules may be epidermal, dermal as in dermatofibroma or subcutaneous for e.g. lapoma. Plaque is an area of altered consistency of skin which is usually elevated but can be depressed or flushed with surrounding skin. It has larger surface area in comparison to its height. Plaques are formed either by enlargement of individual papules or their confluence. Plaques may be discoid or annular. Tumor implies enlargement of tissues by normal or pathological material or cells to form a mass. Blisters are fluid-filled, circumscribed, elevated lesion due to a split in the skin. If it is less than or equal to 0.5 cm it is called vesicles and, if more than 0.5 cm is called as bile. There are three types of bully based on the level of split in skin. In subcorneal bully the level of split is just below the stratum corneum. 
In intraepidermal bully, the level of split is in the granular or spinous layer or suprabasal and in dermoepidermal bully, the level of split is at dermoepidermal junction. Let us now discuss the characteristics of different bully. The subconial bully has a very thin roof, so it ruptures very easily. It is flaccid and contains only scanty fluid in it. On rupturing it forms scale crust and no erosions are seen. Example for subconial bully are Pemphigus foliaceus and Bullus impetigo. Intraepidermal bully has thin roof so it ruptures less readily. It is usually flaccid and contains serous or turbid fluid. On rupturing it form erosions covered with crust and on healing it leaves behind hyperpigmentation, example is Pemphigus vulgaris. Dermoepidermal bully has very thick roof so, it ruptures less readily. It is usually tense and contains serous or turbid fluid which is often hemorrhagic. On rupturing it form erosions and ulcers covered with crusts which is often hemorrhagic and on healing it forms scar. Example for dermoepidermal bully is bullous pemphigoid. Other fluid-filled lesions are pustule, abscess and cyst. A pustule is a pus-filled vesicle. It may be follicular or extrafollicular. Abscess are pus-filled nodules with thick wall and are usually deep-seated, and cyst is a closed cavity with epithelial or membranous lining that is filled with fluid or semisolid material. Wheel is an evanescent lesion produced by edema of dermis or subcutaneous tissue. It could be urticaria or angioedema. Lesions due to extraversation of blood are purpura and hematoma. Purpura is an erythematous macule due to extraversation of RBCs into dermis. They are not blanchable. And hematoma is a swelling caused by extraversation of blood. Lesions associated with dilatation of vessels include telangiectasia, which is visible dilatation of small blood vessels of skin. Seen in rosacea, systemic lupus erythematosus, and in systemic sclerosis. Poikiloderma is triad of atrophy of skin, reticulate hyperpigmentation and telangiectasia, seen in dermatomyositis and mycosis fungoides. Specific lesions include burrows and comedomes. Burrow is a pathognomonic lesion of scabies. It appears as serpentine, thread like, grayish lesion, varying in length. Comedones are inspissated plugs of keratin and sebum wedged in dilated pilosebaceous orifices, typically seen in acne vulgaris, nevus comedonicus, and senile comedones. There are two types of comedones, open comedon, called blackhead, in which the keratinous plug is black in color, and closed comedon called whitehead in which the plug is covered by skin, and appears as a white shiny papule. Thank you for watching. If you like the video feel free to like and share. And subscribe to our channel for more lecture series.